Hi everybody, I'm Laura Jean. Welcome to my channel, Laura Jean's Wreath Room. Uh, yeah, I'm a hot mess. I don't want to be on camera, but I know a lot of you get mad when I'm not on camera. So I just want to say hi, but I'm going to point down uh, because I'm making something and I thought, well, let's record it in case it comes out. <laughs> so let me point down because it's very early and I'm a hot mess. All right, so uh, I'm doing a heart candy box and uh, I've seen... Quiet Corner Crafting on Facebook do this, but she did a supersized one, and I was going to do the supersized one, but I decided to make a smaller one um, to do for my channel, because initially I was going to make one this big, <laughs> but then I was looking at it, and I was like, well, if I cut them in half, I could actually do four, so that's what I'm going to do, so I decided to do smaller ones instead, instead of the large one. But if you want to see the large one, Quiet Corner Crafting, uh, she didn't do a video on it, but she explains how she did it. And, you know, so I went and bought the stuff for it. But I decided to make smaller ones instead to show you. So as I'm sitting in here, do it. I thought I might as well record it and show you what I did. So these are insulation foam boards that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. I got mine at Lowe's. Uh, this is called Green Guard. Green Guard. It's by Green Guard. This is the one I grabbed though. If you want to screenshot that, you can get these right in where the insulation is at Lowe's. And that's, uh, I got two of these, okay? If you're going to do the big one, you're going to need two. Uh, if you're going to do the small one like I'm going to show you, you're only going to need one, okay? So if you're going to do the big one, it's the same concept except you're doing it bigger. All right, so what I did, because I wanted to do smaller ones, is I cut the board in half. So the board is two by two. So I just took, um, I measured it with my ruler. And this one is, they should be, this one, it's a little, you know, to get it to the even, it's one foot, because they're two, two feet wide. So one, one foot wide. So I just measured, I marked it with my pencil. You know, I did mark, then I, Marked it, marked it, marked it all the way down. And then I took my uh, I forgot what these rulers are called, but I took this big long ruler, yardstick. Um, and then I followed the lines. I went, you know, with a pencil, I marked the lines. And then I took my razor blade. I used my foam works. Now you can use a jigsaw. Juliana used a jigsaw with hers. Um, but I know a lot of people don't have a jigsaw, so I wanted to show you a different way. I do have a jigsaw, but I decided, you know, not everybody has a jigsaw, so let's figure out how to cut this. So I just took my um, foam works. You just need a razor blade, a sharp razor blade. And I followed the line. Now with the foam works, you just follow the line and score it, okay? So you get it nice and deep, but it still didn't go all the way through my blade. So I took, once I had that first score line, I took this, these little putty knives. Now mine's a hot mess because I use it a lot. Um, and you know, I cleaned off a little bit of it. And then I took my little putty knife here and I pushed it deep down and went all the way down and, and cut it again. And then that was all the way through and then I just popped it, okay? And then, and then, so you're gonna get, and then you're just gonna cut it down again. Then you're gonna take this piece and find the halfway mark with your ruler, which was, I'll tell you how big this one is. This one ended up being, it's a little under one foot. It's like uh, 11 and 70 inches, okay? It's a little under a foot. So you're just going to cut that one in half again till you get this size. Now to get the heart shape, you can use newspaper, you can use um, wrapping paper, but I had some, Kara left uh, me some drawing paper, you know, those big tablets of drawing paper. So I just laid it down. This is already cut in half because I already did it, but this is the piece that was left over. So you're just gonna lay your piece of paper 
and trace it out to the size of your board, okay? And then let's just pretend this is it. This is the size, let's just pretend it's, it's actually a little smaller, but. And then you're gonna make your heart. So on the candy boxes, you don't want a really deep, deep inset here with the heart, okay? Um, so I just, I kind of just winged it. I just traced out, I cut it. Well, that's, that's, oh, I, I, I cut the wrong side. <laughs> Let me get a piece of paper. Do I have one in here? Oh, I cut the wrong end. I wasn't paying attention. Well, anyways, fold your paper in half. Okay, the, the side that you're going to cut is the side that's closed, okay? The open side is not the side you cut like I just did on the other one. And I started here and did, and I just cut it to get that heart shape, okay? Open it up until you get your heart. You might have to trace it down and, you know, I was squared off a little bit on the side, so I had to keep trimming it till I got the, the shape I want. So I got my heart shape and then I took some pins just so it didn't move and I stuck some pins in it and then I traced it with um, my pencil and then I did the same thing. I went ahead and scored it with my razor. Then I took my putty knife and I pushed it in deeper and, and traced it out again until we came up with the heart, okay? Now you're gonna have to do this two times. So we, you'll have two different hearts, okay? I haven't done the second one. I just was doing this and thought I should record this in case it comes out good. <laughs> if it doesn't, you'll never see it. All right, so then what I did, once I got my heart shaped out, now again, you're gonna take your ruler. Because this is a smaller heart, we want a little bit of a lip on this heart. And you'll see why. I wanted a little bit of lip, so I'm coming in further, but I was gonna come in an inch, but the heart is a lot smaller than the big one that Juliana did. So I came in a half inch, so I just took my ruler, my my um, measuring tape here, and I found the half inch and I marked it with my pencil. So I marked it, went up to the next spot, marked it, and I drew the line as I'm marking it. So I mark it to the half inch, go up a little bit, half inch, and then I connect the lines. Then I did it half inch, connect the lines, half inch, connect the lines, all the way around. So you have, you see how I have that half inch little all the way around it? All right, so that's where I'm at right now. And now we're gonna get a foam burner. You can get these on Amazon, Hobby Lobby, uh, Joann's carries them. It's just a hot burning tool for um, foam, for styrofoam. So, and I'm using this tip. It, some of them come with different tips on them. I'm using this shorter little tip because we're gonna burn where we just met did that line, okay? You don't wanna burn all the way through. Now, I haven't done this before, so I'm a little nervous. You do wanna make sure that your burn is even. You don't wanna have it like a little bit burnt and then, you know, the depth is even all the way around. So we're gonna wing, I'm gonna try it. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna follow my line. Now I want this kind of deep down, but not all the way to the bottom. Which is sometimes hard to tell. I should have marked a little bit so I know how deep to go on my foam burner tool here. I was gonna do that and I forgot. So you're gonna do this Again, with your other heart, you're going to do the same exact thing. And I'm uh, where my line is, I'm burning on the inside because if I do too much on the outside, this is a little thick 
it's gonna make my lip line shorter. So I'm following the pencil line and starting burning it from the inside of it. But you wanna make sure that this burn line is the same depth all the way around. Was just gonna there's some on the tip and I was gonna wipe it with my finger Jesus that's hot don't do that <laughs> and then you're gonna do the same thing up the other side Now, when you're doing this stuff, you should be doing it outside. It does let off the fumes or have a mask on. I never do. Because I'm not the brightest on the planet here. <laughs> but you really should. It's like three degrees out, so I was not doing this outside or in your garage. I wasn't going to bring all my stuff out to my garage, and I wanted to show you how I did it, so. We're doing it right here in the craft room. Just make sure you're not burning down all the way so you're burning through the other, oops, I just got crickets, son of a gun, through the other side. got this stuff last week and I've been wanting to make this and I just haven't. So I thought I'll try it today. Whew, stuff stinks. Be very careful. This is very hot. That tip down. So we got our burnt all the way around. Let me shut this off. Hopefully it's deep enough. All right, so the next thing you're gonna need is in the flooring department at Lowe's. I'm not sure what these are called. It's the, you can use, they use these as like, um, here, I'll, I'll, I got mine at low, so I'm going to just put this up. And you can screenshot that. It doesn't say what it's called. But they're like the flooring, like if you have a transition from floors, I guess. I'm not really sure. It was in the flooring department, but you want the bendable one, okay? I've seen different ones I almost grabbed. And it does have this lip. So it's got that little lip right here. And then this side's flat, Okay. Lowe's. It's in the flooring department over where your tile, or not flooring, where your tiles are, kitchen tiles. That's where I found these. I thought it would be in the flooring, but I found mine at Lowe's where the, the kitchen tiles were. So that's where I got this. I'm not sure what the proper name of this is, but this is four inches wide. Now, if you're doing the bigger one, Jilliana took a, a foot off, an uh, inch off, and made hers three inches wide. I did that but my heart's smaller and I just felt like the lip was still too big. So I took off an inch first, but it was still too wide. So I took off another inch. So this, my piece, this is a four inch piece. Where's the one I cut? So I cut it down so it was a two inch piece, okay? So you're gonna have to, again, mark it with your, mark, mark, mark with your pencil and then get your, whatever you have that's a straight. I got that yardstick. So I just put it down and followed the lines and then I cut it with my scissors. I just cut it with scissors. Uh, uh, not my good scissors, just these are my box scissors. So I use those. And so my four inch piece went to a two inch piece. So we have this two inch piece. And the side that's flat, that doesn't have the lip on it, 
Now you want this lip so it curves to the outside, not the inside, okay? You want it to the outside. So this is going this way, to the outside. We're gonna put this down in here. We're gonna glue it. I just wanna make sure it's gonna go in. I might have to burn it a little more. Yeah, I think I have to burn it some more. I'm gonna turn my gun back on because it's still not thick enough. So you're just gonna have to keep burning it and pushing this down in and then we'll put some glue in there. And I just gotta burn that more. You guys don't need to watch me do that. So I'm just gonna burn it a little bit more and then I'm gonna put some low temp glue in here. I'm not sure what type of Julie, glue Juliana used. I'm gonna put tacky glue in there and then I'm gonna put my low temp glue gun and stick this down through, then cut off the extra piece. Um, and then once this is all together, I'll take it and I'm going to spray paint the whole thing red. Okay. You're going to need to do two of them. So I'm going to go ahead and get this burnt down deeper, a little wider and deeper because it's not even. I can see it. That's why that's not pushing in because you want this to push in. But remember, you do not want to burn to the other side. So be careful. You might even want to mark your little burner so you know how deep to go before you turn it on with like a Sharpie or something. I don't know if it'll stay, it might burn off. Um, but, so I'm gonna burn that down. Well, I'm gonna stick this in. Again, the lip is going out. I'm gonna stick that in there, glue it down. I'll spray paint it and then I'll be back, okay? I just figured while I was doing this, I might as well record it so I don't have to do it twice. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I just wanted to show you something. So, Juliana didn't really show how she cut hers. I think she did hers with a jigsaw. So, I didn't think I could use my wire burner on this. So, I'm trying to do the second one. I got the fat cut in. I got it deeper. So, that's what it looks like when it's not painted. Once you get that, you know, you get this in there. Just got to really make sure you're deep and everything's even. When I say even, you know, make sure your depth is even. I'm sorry. I got my, I'm trying to cover. I don't have a, whew, I don't have a mask in here. I don't feel like running out to the car. It's freezing. But I'm trying to cover my mouth because I'm doing this in the house. And you really should be doing this outside because it stinks. Hold on. I'm trying my, I got my apron on over my face. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it smells. Okay. This isn't staying on though. Um, when I mean your depth, you, you want to make sure, see, you want this even all the way around. If you got like, when you're do, burning it, if it's up too high, pieces are going to stick up. You want to make sure this is even as it's laying in there. That's what I mean. Make sure you're burning it at the same depth. And I'm almost to the other end. So make sure you don't go through because I wanted it deep in there. Um, but I got my wire burner out because I love this thing. I've actually gone through three of them. And I was like, well, this burn it and it does, which was so much easier than scoring. So you're just going to follow your heart line. And um, I did also sand after I cut the other one out. I did sandpaper it to smooth it more. So oh, this is so much easier, but this should really be done outside. It's like five degrees out. I'm not going outside. So uh, I get this on Amazon, but I believe Joanne's has it. Oh, it's Thanks. Do you see the smoke? Oh, shoot, I just messed up the bottom. It's too wide, I can't reach it. So let me come over, cut this off. Hands are shaking. The 
this was way quicker than scoring it. And then I'll just give it a light sand so it's nice and smooth on the sides. I just wanted to show you that because it was way easier than the first way I showed you. I don't know why I didn't think of that to begin with. I didn't think this would burn through it, but it did because it's just like styrofoam. It is styrofoam, actually. Um, so yeah, do that way quicker. Then I'll take my other burner again. I got to mark my one inch lines. And when you do the second um, board, just put your first heart on top of it and trace it because you already have that template cut out, okay? So you're gonna need to do two. I gotta go ahead and mark my half inch lines and then burn the seam down to put this in, okay? Cause you're gonna need two. So I just wanna show you the quicker way to burn the heart down, it's way, way faster. So I'm gonna do that heart like this heart and then I'm gonna spray paint them and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back again. Uh, so I was thinking as I'm sitting here cutting these hearts down and putting that piece in here, I wasn't sure if Juliana did it for the top. I thought she did, but so I did two of them. You know, I did the top one. You know, this is supposed to go like this, but I don't think that needs to be that high up. So I now have two candy boxes and with the other half sheet from the board, I cut two more hearts out and I burnt these in the garage. Boy, that stuff stinks. Uh, and then I ended up having to sand it because my hand kept shaking. So it was very jiggy, you know, looked like jigsaw. Um, and I'm just gonna glue this piece on top. We're not gonna put a second trim on here. So the one board will give you two of them. So if you're making one, you might as well do two at the same time. So you're gonna do the two hearts for the bottom and then these are gonna be the top. All right, I don't know if she did this on the top one, but I don't like it that high up. So I'm only doing, uh, I'm not putting it on the top piece. So I just wanted to show you that, but also we're gonna go ahead with uh, silicone and I just use, or caulk silicone, the DAP. You can get at Walmart or Home Depot Lowe's, your local, hardware store. Oh, God, that stuff stinks. They definitely burn somewhere else. And I gotta figure out where to spray paint these because it's three degrees out. Normally I spray paint in my garage, but that's too cold. I have a room in the basement I used to spray paint in when it was my supply room, but it's my husband's man cave now. And I don't want it to smell, but I'm gonna have to gonna have to get over it. So I'm just gonna go ahead around the sides. I'm gonna do inside and outside. I'm just gonna go all the way around. And we're gonna push that silicone down. I am not hand painting this. There's no way. <laughs> Spray painting so much quicker. So I'm going to do the inside and outside. But before I do both, let me grab a paper towel. I'm going to go ahead and push that down and wipe up the extra. Pushing it down in there. Probably just take the extra and start it on the outside. want to do that on both sides and then really clean it up. I 
should probably use a baby wipe. So let's do the outside. Still needs a little bit right here. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing to the outside. And then once this dries, I'll go ahead and spray paint it. And then when that dries, I'll be back. Let's just finish this before I pop back off. I'm a little messy. <laughs> very, very messy. All right. So, okay, with the one board, you can do two. So go ahead and do both of them. Cut it out. These would be cute to give as Valentine's gifts, sell in your shop, or, um, they would be cute gag gifts too to pe oh I didn't I don't think I glued this one down. Shoot, I shouldn't have started that. I can't use it over here. I forgot to glue this one. I glued this one. And uh the glue I used is now this is really tight in there. I mean it's pretty tight without glue, but uh, I use well bond. So you can use tacky glue well bond, uh E6000. So six thousand, yeah, e six thousand. So go ahead and just fill it in so you can't see gaps where you shove this down into the foam. And you know, um, you could just use a, a foam, regular foam board too, craft foam, foam sheet, instead of this insulation stuff. Because really, that's all it is. I don't think mine is the same thing Juliana got. I couldn't find it. But this was in the insulation aisle, though. Um, but her board was a different color, I think. But you could just use a one-inch thick styrofoam piece as well. So clean that all up. I'm gonna clean this up with my uh, baby wipe. I'm gonna glue that one down to do the same thing. I'm gonna spray paint them both. Uh, I'm just spray painting it all together. I just think it would be quicker. I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint the two tops and then I'll be back for us to decorate it. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I got the heart all spray painted. It's still pretty dewy. It's, it's still not completely dry. I did not get the back of them though. Uh, if you're selling them, I would do the backs. But right now, I got those spray painted. Uh, the other one's still downstairs drying. But I think I'm going to come in now. And I'm going to put felt down in here. You don't have to. But I'm just fancying up a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and pin the template that I used in the beginning. And it doesn't matter if it fits because you're not going to see this whole, the whole inside of it anyways. You're really just going to see half of it. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that. So when I cut it, it's not moving. And then I'm just going to cut it. Let me pin over there because when I pick it up, it's going to move. There, there was a little, it doesn't matter. You're not going to see the other side. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. I just poked myself with the needle. Sure. Oh man, that spray paint. I'm so nauseous right now. 
I went down and sprayed. It's it's three degrees out today, so I can't do it in the garage or outside. So I have an unfinished room in the basement. So I did it down in there, which my husband's not happy about. So like, you're gonna make my whole basement smell like spray paint. But it doesn't, he's fine, he'll be fine. Well, too bad, I gotta finish my tutorial. <laughs> um, and then I also started, actually I'm waiting for the water to boil. I'm making homemade chicken noodle soup because I'm starving. And I seen I had celery in the fridge and some carrots and I have chicken. So I was like, ooh, homemade chicken noodle soup. With some red lobster biscuits. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so hungry. Oh, and I'm so nauseous. I would definitely try to spray paint outside and try to do, you should definitely do that wood. I ended up going out to the garage uh, to burn down the other two hearts with the um, foam burner, the hot wire thing, because, oof, that got to me too. Now I'm feeling mighty nauseous. All right, so let's take that off. all you need. So I'm going to bring this back over and I'm going to glue this to the inside. Now again, you don't have to, did I not do that? Oh, that's right. I forgot we cut down a, oh, duh. I wasn't thinking of that. I forgot that we came in, um, that it's not the same size. All right. Guess I'm gonna have to try to trace it with a pencil. Ah, I forgot. I don't know if that'll show. It does. Sorry about that, I forgot. gonna cut this piece off because it doesn't even matter. You're not gonna see it. So I'm gonna glue this down to the inside. It's still too big. Mm. You don't really see the bottom, so I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just am. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take my low temp glue gun and glue that down. Or you could just actually, let me get my tacky glue instead. Oh, I can't get ever get this top off. It's like glued on. Boy, I got it. Yay. I'm just going to use my tacky glue. You can get this at uh, the Dollar Tree in the smaller bottles. And also the silicone, if you don't have the little gun, you could buy just the push ones at the Dollar Tree. Um, they have the small little tube ones you can squeeze out with your hand, you know, to do around the edges too. Just going to get some glue. So 
So again, I didn't come up with this. This is, uh, I learned uh, watching Crafting Along, no, Quiet Corner Crafting with Juliana. She does amazing things. You should definitely check her out. I've showed a few of her projects on my lives. Uh, and everything she does is super sized. <laughs> I'm just doing a smaller version of it. I was originally going to do the big one. And then as I was staring at the two boards, I was like, you know what? I could get four of them. <laughs> these would be so funny to give to someone that um, doesn't know you do these kind of things. They really thought they got a box of candy. <laughs> funny. Uh, you guys, I am using uh, candies I already had made or left over or things I pulled off cakes. Because uh, I already have them made. So I was like, I'm didn't make any but just use your uh, candy molds and you could do cupcakes you could put donuts you could put whatever it is you want in your candy box I'm like was that the top I can't remember Push it down, glue it all in there. Oh my God. <laughs> You're not gonna see this side of the box, so don't worry about that. All right, so we glued that all down. Just set that somewhere. I just gotta get all the dry glued off this cap because when I go to put it on, it glues the top on and I can never, I'm never strong enough to get it all open. And it never squeezes out right. So I always just dip a brush in it. All right. So along the edge, I'm going to, um, along the lip here, this lip we did, this is still wet. I'm going to go ahead and do, hold on, let me get the glue off me. Get off my fingers. All right, I decided I'm gonna add a little bit of bling bling. So I got this, uh, one of the girls in my design group sent it to me, Cheryl, thank you so much, I'm still using it. Uh, but you could get these on Amazon or at Hobby Lobby or wherever. But I decided I'm gonna go around the lip here and add some bling to it. So we're just gonna go ahead and glue that around. I think I'll start down at the bottom corner. And again, low temp glue gun. And I'm just gonna start putting some glue down. And low temp dries quick, so just do sections at a time. I mean, what girl doesn't want chocolates and bling, right? <laughs> and I'm just picking out the glue if I can see it. I'm gonna do that all the way around. I'm trying to make sure the diamonds stay facing up, but they keep turning on me. Ew. Come on. 
and glue is drying. Let's dry. Before it dries, please. Okay. I'll show you it as soon as I finished. Okay, I'm gonna get in that corner a little better. Stay straight up. Oh, I'm still very, this, this is still very tacky. Oh, is this on hot? It's molten my stuff. No. Thanks. I took off a little of my paint on top. I, I touched it with the metal part and it took off my paint. to do some touch-ups, but that's okay. This one's mine. The tutorial ones are never as neat as they should be. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to pick all the glue looks off this thing. I don't want them on there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. of it down. God, you gotta go so fast with the low temp. just got the diamond going around the lip which is cute and now we're going to add our candies to it you could again you can add whatever you want in yours i'm just using stuff i already had it actually i gotta grab some puppy paint and grab some light this is from Opie. i think so I'm just going to use some fabric paint, and you, I get this at Hobby Lobby. So I'm using these uh, at Christmas time from Hobby Lobby. I bought these little um, cupcake uh, baking cups, and I'm going to, they're white on the inside and like that peppermint on the outside. I'm going to turn these over because I want the red to show. So I'm taking the little candies that I have already made. Uh, this was on a cake I did. I pulled stuff off my cakes. 
a certain cake that I just over embellished with way too much stuff. So I pulled some of that stuff off instead of making them. I had chocolate covered strawberries, um, Reese's peanut butter cups. You know, you can get all those molds. And the candies though have that squiggly little, the squiggly lines and I didn't uh, put frosting or anything on it. So I'm gonna do the tulip on that. But we're gonna just hot glue these down with your low temp glue gun, I mean, low temp glue. And I'm gonna put one right here. And then we're gonna glue the strawberry down inside the cup. Oh, I glue it to my table. And I'm just gonna put the strawberry in the cup. And we're gonna start filling it up. These I got, those were those little uh, lolly, uh, blow, blow pops. Cake pops from Hobby Lobby. I have a couple of those. Again, I'm gonna glue the cup down, the little baking cup. You can space these out as much as you want. Now, Juliana did a big one, so she just glued the stuff right to the inside. She didn't put felt down or anything. Uh, but I wanted to do the little baking cups. I thought they were cute. And then again, put some glue and then stick that to the baking cup. And I'm gonna turn that little stick to the side. I have another one, but that one's got little hearts on it. Ah, so I'm gonna put that one right here. side oh gruet hold on go away glue webs all right let's do a now see I gotta fix this because when I pulled it off the cake, some of it's showing. So I'm gonna push that against the wall. But again, this is just for me, so I'm not being very particular. Somebody's got to come up with something for glue webs, because seriously, you would be a billionaire. Because all of us crafters would buy it. All right, I'm going to do a... And I'm just going to fill this up with different candies. Let's do another strawberry there. Shoot, guys, hold on. I think I'm boiling. Oh my god, really? low so it didn't boil that fast i gotta hurry up okay sorry my food is cooking it's boiling i gotta get in there i didn't think this was gonna take me that long that's the piece of candy i'm gonna add some slick on the top of that i'm just gonna follow the squiggly lines from the mold with my slick paint Okay. My hand's never sh not shaky. Oh, I already messed that up.
get your little frosting on top. Let's do a couple Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, that glue. Oh, I can't believe that's boiling already. another candy we got to do the puppy paint with put that one right here that one's milk chocolate this one's dark chocolate before I glue that down I'm just gonna do it in my hand because I couldn't see it that well some glue right there. Just put that right in it. And put another one right here. Oh, the glue flies. <laughs> I'm gonna kill them all. Put this one right here. So you're just gonna fill half the box up because like I said, you're not gonna see the other half. You could just fill it with all strawberries, chocolates, cupcakes, donuts, whatever you wanna put in yours. Um, like the little uh, cupcakes, the little donuts. I, I'm just doing chocolates and chocolate covered strawberries. Let me find another strawberry. I'll have to check some of these up. Um, let's see. Cup. Strawberry. You could do chocolate covered pretzels. I was going to stick some of those in there too. Uh, where's cups? Had them all. Oh, I must. I had this was all I had in there, but I'm I'm putting them closer together because I filled it up once to see. But I must be putting them closer because I need more. Huh. Strawberry. Let's do another Reese's. And you don't have to do these cups. You could just glue them right to the inside. You don't really have too many Reese's that weren't room. That one's decent. Put that there. Oh my God. Get off of me. Um, let me see. So we're going to glue the top. We're just going to go across with our low temp glue gun. I'm going to go right across just half of this. And I'm going to glue this right on there. And then you got your candy box. Let me look real quick. Hold on. I want one more candy right here. You could also, if you wanted to do how we did the bling on the bottom, you could go around the top too, but I'm not going to. You could. Uh, let's do a piece of chocolate. Oh, I just set it down. I'm shaking too much. All those fumes. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna line up that top so I can glue it. So let me just move everything. And I'm this is more straight towards me, okay? When I'm 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 putting this on, my heart is straight, and this is gonna go at an angle. So I'm just trying to line up this with this half and then the bottom part. And I want an overhead view of it, so if I hold it up. So I like it right here. I'm gonna just push. Hoping it dented it. I'm just gonna glue it and put it on as I go. This is low temp, it's gonna dry fast, so you gotta go kind of quick. Stripping underneath. I'll also go over this top piece with um, some Mod Podge and I might do a little glitter on it, but I'm going to let this dry a little bit more. And there it is. There's your Valentine's candy heart box. Let me turn it around real quick. So like I said, you could do a, um, did I cover up too much of that? I might have to move this over just a little. I feel like I covered up too much of the heart. Because I wanted it. I gotta re-glue it. Hold on, I hit too much covered. Try it one more time. One more time. It just dries so quick, it's hard to really look at it. You can't do half because you got to set the whole thing on. over too far. I feel like I just was there. I'm just going to leave it like that. All right. So there's your candy heart box. Isn't that so cute? Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. I forgot to do the, before I put that on. So the top, I'm going to add a bow to it. So you could, uh, I got these little hearts. They were like a garland attached with a, a twine. You could put that on there in the middle, but I'm gonna do a small bow, which I completely forgot about. And I'm just gonna use this ribbon. So I'm gonna get my bow jabra. Oh, the glue webs. And I'm actually just gonna cut a strip down right now and glue it across, because I don't feel like playing around. So I'm gonna glue this right across. Let me just cut it down. And I'm just going to use the tacky glue on this. So I'm just going to open that up. I'm just going to cover this with some glue. Probably shouldn't have started cooking until I was done, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna put this right across the middle. Oh, 
that piece under. And we have to have that side piece with hot glue because it's not going to stay. Very low temp glue. Hold on, it's going to go right across there. So it wants to keep flipping up. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. And then we're just going to attach a small bow right up there. I still got corners that can all come on, you little jerk. I'm almost hungry. <laughs> all right. Oh, definitely going to be cleaning glue, glue webs off, but I'm waiting for this to dry a little more. Um, let's move that over. And then I'm just going to make a small bow. Do your tails as long as you want them. I'm just guesstimating here. Let's do, I'm going to do three loops, I think, on each side. Let's do my loops at four inches. I don't want it too big. Oh, I would, oh, I do I have any conversation hooks? I need some of those too. smells so good and I don't want to overcook that chicken. I gotta hurry up. Gonna have some soup. I'm gonna take a shower for sure. <laughs> Alright, and I think I'm gonna do I didn't know if I wanted a middle loop. Yeah, let's pull it out. Oh wait, let me cut it first. Uh, I'm gonna grab a pipe from here. Grab a half a pipe cleaner. I'm gonna twist that off. Go ahead and cut it. I can't believe I just used those scissors to do that. Let's fluff it out. I might have made this bow a little too big. I'm not sure. <laughs> For sure, I think I did. They're too long. I don't like the loops that long. I have a I, I don't know how to make small bows, people. I just don't. <laughs> I'll switch this bow out. I don't like it. I'm just trying to give you guys an example. Let's cut these tails down. ugly I don't like the ribbon but you're gonna glue your ribbon down and then I was gonna take these are from Hobby Lobby aren't they so pretty you could do those but they're a little big so I'm just gonna use Dollar Tree and my bow's too big so I got to make a smaller one and I'm just gonna um, add some of these hearts I could put one in the middle I think Juliana did flowers but I'm just gonna add some hearts in it but I am gonna redo this bow I don't like it but I gotta, I gotta get to my food because I can tell it's overcooking. And then I'll glue that down, but I don't like the bow, so I'm not gonna glue it. I'll make a different one, or, or at least make it smaller. I think it's too big. And there's your candy heart box. Isn't it so cute? Uh, so you guys, make sure you go over and like on Facebook, uh, Crafting 
Quiet Corner Crafting with Juliana. Uh, this was her concept. I just made it smaller. Her uh, candy is almost three feet wide and it's three by three feet, I think. So it's a lot bigger. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I think they're adorable. I'm gonna um, fin go finish dinner, take a shower, and I'll make the second one. And uh, don't forget, if you're watching the replay, you can share. Again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye, everybody.